Lavenham is an historic village in Suffolk. It's located 104 kilometres or 65 miles northwest of London. Lavenham prospered from the wool trade in the 1400s and 1500s, with the town's blue broadcloth being its trademark export. The blue dye was extracted from the woad plant. By the late 1500s, the, tri- the town was amongst the richest in the UK, paying more in tax than considerably larger towns such as York and Lincoln. The revenue enabled the building of timber-framed houses and impressive church. However, the prosperity didn't last long due to cheaper exports, changing fashion and supply route disruptions caused by Henry VIII fighting the French. The lack of money meant that houses could not be modified, and so the original timber-framed houses are unchanged, with over 300 protected properties. It's one of the most impressive medieval villages that still exists today. Some of the timber framed houses look like they should fall down with timber at odd angles. The timber was installed when it was still green and as it dried out it would bend and become misshapen. In other locations this can also be due to the ground floor being built long before the upper floor and the foundations only being strong enough for one level enabling a small amount of subsidence to take place. how tall their average customer is but I'd struggle to sit on that seat. Guild Hall mirrors the changing fortunes of the village. It was originally the centre of business, by 1689 it became a jail, and by 1787 a workhouse for those too poor to take care of themselves. Little Hall was first built in 1390 and enlarged in the 1430s. It was then modernised by adding fireplaces and a floor above the hall. It was originally a single house for a prosperous wall trader and later split into six houses. The house was bought by the Gayer Anderson twins in the early 1900s. They were military men and travellers. They recombined the multiple houses into one and filled it with artefacts that they acquired during their travels. During World War II it was used to house children who were evacuated from London due to the Blitz.
St Peter's and St Paul's Church is one of the most important wall churches in England. There's been a church at this location since Saxon times. Construction started in 1340. It was built with money from wealthy citizens. In the period following the Black Death, 1346 to 1353, the town boomed due to the wall trade. Significant additions were made between 1485 to 1525. It is one of the last churches to be completed before the English Reformation, which saw changes to religious life in England due to the split between the church in England and the Vatican. Long Melford is a quaint English village made famous by the artist John Constable, who's renowned for painting landscapes. More recently, it has been the film location for BBC's Lovejoy series. It's time to enjoy the ride back so that I can prepare for yet another River Rides adventure. 
Lavenham's a beautiful historic village and Suffolk's a county I'll definitely have to return to. Hope you enjoyed this bit of English history. If you did, please click the like button. To see more material from Ribble Rise, click the subscribe and bell buttons. Thanks and see you next week.